Hey guys, Bruno here, welcome back to Fishing Baron Sea. Here we are for another episode in our Speedy McSpeed boat. Didn't actually call it that, I just called it Speedy, but Speedy McSpeed boat we can call it. Um, let's head through and grab. Look at the map first. I've got all these guys here in a long row. Probably move up a little bit higher next time. So I pretty much took the boat up this way and then back, all the way back to here. I've got our. Um, Next certificate, there we go. So we've got the junior boat license now. So we can look at getting that done. I've also improved our engine a little bit, so our boat is a little bit faster than it was before. Hopefully we won't have any drummers. Picking these guys up, there we go, all in. Fingers crossed we can get a full boat this time. Haven't um, increased the hook or anything at Actually, no, I think I did. I think I got plus four percent hook. You can see the hook's definitely not the old wooden one like it was before. So we should be getting a little bit bigger fish this time, hopefully. Um, I didn't improve the knife or anything though, so I think we either went um, T1 or T2. So plus two percent bigger fish or plus two plus four percent. I think it might have been. It might have been the four percent for an extra for fifteen thousand kroners, I think it was. So, we'll see how we go. Hopefully, these guys will be nice and full. Thousand kilos per line would be nice. That way, we can return with a really, really full boat. And it's still raining yet again. Seems to just want to rain all the time. Twelve and fifteen. We've only missed one so far, so that's pretty good. Hopefully, we can get up to that seventy-three percent. That'll be good. Would have been a little bit better getting seventy-five, but anyway, let's aim for seventy-one. There we go. Perfect. All right, that's well over a thousand kilos. That is twelve hundred. So we might end up at you know, like thirty-seven, thirty-eight hundred by the time we get to. Uh, light number four, so might not need that extra line. We'll have to sort of wait and see what happens. So this guy's got a much stronger engine now, so we're doing over 50 clicks. That's how fast we have been going. Um, I know I did go flying this way flat out, and then I went and turn and head north. But I turned too hard, and the boat did a complete 360. We thought we were going to capsize and die, but we didn't. I was pressing Q then instead of E. So we've got to be very careful here that we don't um, flip this boat over. I'm pretty sure you can actually flip the boats, which won't be very good at all. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, three good ones in a row. It's not very good at all. Four good ones in a row. Need some perfects. Well, at least we're, you know, consistent. There we go. It's going to have us down around about 50%, so that's not going to be perfect. We're lucky to get 1,000 kilos out of it, so we'll have to just wait and see how we go, I suppose. Oh, another one. Missed another one. Thirty-eight percent, another perfect. Only got five more to go. Let's see if we can't get to sixty-three percent. That's forty-eight. Let's hope this will be fifty-three. No, fifty-one. Fifty-six. We've got a red fish at the end here as well. Boom, sixty-one percent. There we go. So that was, wow, that wasn't very good at all. Maybe, were we too close to the other one? Maybe, I don't know. That's about, about halfway, nearly, full. Be that, um, that extra percentage does make a little bit of a difference. 
1.5 tons of pollock, a little bit of cod, a little bit of haddock, a little bit of redfish, but mainly mainly the pollock at the moment. Alright, so we'll slow down a little bit. We'll get close to this buoy. This one and the next one. I think next time we come through it might try and space them out just a little bit better. Okay, start with the perfect and let's follow it the whole way through. Three in a row. Four in a row. Whoa, just missed it. Five. Four out of five. As long as we still get in that 70% mark, I'll be pretty happy. Okay, maximum is definitely 75% bonus. 38%. Um, I don't know if if line fishing you get more fish or hook fishing. I think line fishing you probably get some more more you know a larger amount of fish using the nets because hook fishing you know they've got to actually bite the hook bite the bait and bite the hook whereas net fishing you don't have to well, bait the net of course but they just swim into it and they get caught so I think that would um that would be better for the amount of fish you're actually gonna get. Here we go, seventy one percent. Uh that's about a thousand, so that's pretty good. Nearly at three thousand, so let's hope this one we can get a thousand or five kilos, so that'll be great. That'll give us a full boat. Right, so we need to get what 120 kilometers now, so that's yeah, that's a fair hike. I sort of need to set the boat up here and just head this way and just let it go for half an hour and see what happens. I think this boat's certainly certainly the quickest, I think. The last one we had was only doing it was like 13 or 15 kilometers an hour, I can't remember now, but this guy is getting closer to the 60 kilometers an hour. Certainly doing the 50s, but um, I got a level 1 engine upgrade, so certainly a lot faster than it was before there we go, shut the engine down while we get the fish so we're not wasting fuel right, starting off strong with the perfect All right, three in a row four in a row If I ever get 15, I'll be bloody ecstatic, and I'll be surprised to be honest. Oh, there we go, ruined it, ruined it already. I shouldn't talk about it, I should just sit here and not say a word and just get them and hope for the best. So it's 9, 43%. 48, I've got 5 to go, 53, can we get to 63, or 73% I should say, ah, no, 71 is our next target, I really shouldn't say anything, but if I don't sit here and say anything, you guys are probably going to get bored, if you're not bored already, to be honest, that's a 64, right, 69, here we come, Boom. Alright, not quite full. We have 124 kilos free. So, not much space left, but still a little bit. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to go driving too much with you guys, sort of here, like investigating. You guys are probably getting quite bored, I would think. This guy's going to be in the way. No, he's moved. Beautiful. Right, let's actually turn the boat off, do our gutting. That should be like five star. 
just about close enough. I don't care if it's not 100% five star, but close enough would be nice. Boom, look at that. Some redfish, you don't want to ruin the redfish because it's quite expensive, and we sort of did. Only four stars. Have you go with that? That was even worse. Back to five, there we go. Maybe it's the bigger fish that I struggle with. to full there we go not bad at all so 3876 kilos of gutted fish all right let's go in swing around to the left try and dock there we go how much we're gonna make 73,000 so that's pretty good uh, plus 40 40 24 and 29 so that's definitely the big fish to be sort of struggle with um, the pollock we did make a fair bit of money off so that's good um, so look at the map again is there any there's not really any cod that I can see like there's probably cod like out here somewhere I guess we're just gonna keep, keep trying to get the pollock I suppose um, where was our loan repay 290 can't afford it 290,000 so it'd be good to um, get rid of that eventually so we can hire these guys, but it doesn't really help us at all at the moment. Um, certainly want to go back through and bait some more. There we go. Um, upgrade. So we can look at the the boats. So still the junior. All oh, right. Yep. That much. We want to go to the junior. So 1.2 million, 450. 450, 5,000 hooks, that's pretty good. Uh, 450, 2,000 hooks, we can do nets. We can also do crab pots, um, the sharky as well. Eight lines, 1,000 hooks. Or the fix, eight lines, 1,000 hooks. I think um, the shark and eight, 5,000 hooks, that's probably the best one to go for I think I mean I don't think we're gonna go crabbing anytime soon and it's definitely definitely the cheapest I think it certainly allows us to get a lot of pollock which is sort of what we're aiming for now so all right so we should be all ready to go how much actually let's grab grab some fuel and then we can head back out to go out backwards here because while we're sitting on the dock so I did go down to Hammerfest Centrum as well and we've been down to Ripeford as well so right, let's head straight to here let's have a good look um, let's go like right there set a line and we'll go forward set a line and come back and set a line this way as well set the lines there we'll set the next one turn around and set the other two head back to town I know I probably should probably try and get up into here and around into here and there's nothing down there but we do need to go and inspect all down there eventually but so it's a little bit of a long time away I think before we decide to go too far, especially in a boat of this size, and we could potentially end up capsizing. We don't want to do that. So let's um, give ourselves a little bit of room. I think maybe about here. So we'll head through to here, and then we'll drop another one off. So about about 200 meters apart. Get our speed right up. Maybe we drop the, the line off, it doesn't take anywhere near as long. There you go, boom, throw it off, throws it out really quick. Still be doing like 30k's by the time it's gone. There we go. 
now if we sort of head to say here and then there something like that there we go so we head up towards this other line which our boys should be just there somewhere just over here drop this next line and then wait drop the next one I think it's only about three hours to get back to back to shore alright so we go coming in nice and hot alright dump this guy off Going a little bit slower than we were last time, but still got some speed up. We'll head to this last marker, drop our next boy off. We can see you see how the ones over there, so they're still pretty close to each other, but with the way this is, this is sort of the, the hot spot in the middle here. Alright, we'll get ready, drop the next one off. Beautiful. Gone. Let's um, head back to town. See how long this takes us to get there. So three hours, I wonder. No, they just look like they're closer together than these ones. Not sure why. Um, so three hours, six hours, we want to get to 20 hours. So we want to sleep for about 14 hours. And then head straight back out again. Right, there we go. So let's sleep for 14 hours. Um, have a look into here. So I think I did. Yeah, I got the second one. So 4% bigger fish. Um, I didn't bother with any of this stuff yet. I mean, we're, we can. We're gutting pretty good anyway. So I'm not too concerned about that. And that won't help us forever anyway, really, because we'll eventually hire someone to be able to gut for us anyway. go all right we'll head back out to our first line somewhere there we go so we should hit there about 19 20 hours yeah 20 hours straight ahead what's going on today 6.9 k's nine degrees 100 percent precipitation chance a lot of cloud cover and 9.4 kilometer visibility i think the visibility is probably a little bit lower than that this weird sort of fog around. Oh, I'll slow right down. Pick this guy up. Come on. I don't know why we won't go on that bloody quick. Oh, plus five percent. Plus ten percent good. Alright, won't say anything for the rest of it. We'll see how we go. Damn it. Doing pretty good there. Got eight in a row. Just don't think the game wants us. 58%. A little bit of cod. 63%. Seventy-one. Boom. That was not very good either. Six hundred seventy-eight kilos. Okay. Might be overfishing the area a little bit. Might need to. God, redfish. Might have to have a bit of a look around. Actually, it's probably darker for redfish, to be honest. Maybe we're fishing for the wrong fish. 
Maybe we should. We need to come back and target some redfish. Have not here. We've got plenty of pollock, but not much redfish. Very little cod. Let's head straight towards it. Try not to miss it. Alright, there we go. Let's try and roll in nice and slow. Beautiful. There we go. A uh, little bit of lag there, I think. That didn't help. Don't know if you guys could hear that in the recording, but... I definitely heard it. Started off bad, let's uh, finish strong. So we'll see how we go at the end of this episode. If we haven't got to the next stage of the next boat yet, we might, um, might have to just do this stuff off camera and get to the next stage we've got our next boat. Otherwise you guys are probably gonna get, you know, pretty bored, pretty bloody quick, so. Try and avoid boring you guys too much. Oh, it's eight down. Nine down. Can still potentially get 71%, so that'll be good if we can. I think we definitely need to come back and target, target some redfish. Sixty-four. Okay, sixty-nine again. Our lucky number. Sixty-nine. There we go. Ah, uh, that's a bit better. Should get us up to the nearly, yeah, nearly two thousand. That was a much better line. That one. All right, let's go up to here and then to there. Line ourselves up. Twenty-one hours. Five hundred hooks. Mackerel. Still got 2,131 kilos free in the hold space. I don't know where the hold actually is, but... Oh, it's starting to slow down. Okay, straight ahead. Should be able to pick this up straight away. Beautiful. Alright, Six, 69% again, I reckon. Start out that bad, we might even get less than that. Alright, too good, too perfect. Another good, there goes that 69%. Oh, and another one. 66% for lucky. Seven percent, I think. So, if we're lucky, some more whales is there. I think they put me off just at the top of the screen. Oh, another one. Sixty-five might be the next sort of target area. Or even less than that, actually 53, we 63%. Hasn't been the best one. Oh, I'm saying an unlucky redfish right at the end. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Let's hope we get 1100 kilos out of this next one. That would be nice. Screenshot. Where's the old net straight ahead? I don't know why these come back up every time. All right, straight ahead to here. Let's hope for a good 1,100 kilos would be nice. Get us, you know, as full as we can get. 
we we'll start to slow ourselves down a little bit. Go shut the boat down. And why are you not letting me pick it up? See, that doesn't make sense to me. Too far away, too close, too far away, maybe. Should be anywhere inside that bloody circle. And you've got to throw the hook out and get it anyway, so it doesn't have to be like right next to the boat. I'd like to improve the graphics a little bit, like that rope seems to just look like it's going nowhere. Like it really should be coming up to the boat and going over that little the little wheel through the big wheel and be piling up on the ground there somewhere. Just seems to be going bloody nowhere. Right, thirty one percent at the moment. Halfway through, thirty six. So that's what we're gonna get in the sixties again for percentage, hopefully. This is probably uh, probably one we needed to get um, the 75%, but might be lucky and get 69%. Nope. Fifty-seven. Let's go for sixty-two. No, sixty. Sixty-five. The final. Boom, here we go. Alright, storage is full. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's head back. First time I've had a full a full boat. Definitely want to come back out and try and get some redfish now. The way that um the way that um it looks there on the map, there's gonna be plenty of redfish about. Next. Don't know if you do it quicker and get right on the line if you get more star or if you go slower. How's that? Yeah, another five star. Beautiful. It might have something to do with the speed too. Okay, look at that. Another one. Oh, that was only four. Damn you. Full boatload. Dock in. Here we go. 72,000. So what did we get last time? A little bit less this time. Oh well, we got some um, 27,000, 22,000. We got 27 and 18. That's probably why we got a few smaller ones, I think, than bigger ones. Alright, never mind, it's 147,000. We're still a little ways off um, our next boat, the Jargon, 450. Not too far away though. We'll probably need to pay off that loan and then hopefully we should be able to. So, Krill's expensive too. Uh, we should be able to pay off our loan and then buy that boat. That'll be what I'm trying to. Sort of trying to aim for. Is that cruise ship still there? No, it's gone. Alright, there we go. Let's head back out right to there. Alright, there we go. Let's set our first. First part of the line, which sort of went backwards through the boat, but anyway. Alright, done. Toggle the map or the sensor. Still haven't got the line out yet, there we go. Full throttle. We want to sort of... Look how far is this? That's 1.4 kilometers. So if we go about... What's that? 300 meters? It doesn't say. About 300 meters away. Put our next line in. Let's just do this. 
Fast travel. Exit. Next line. Goes our timer. We'll go through again, probably another, try and get another 300 metres between us. Um, let's go. Say there, which is about 273 metres, that's not too bad, I suppose. Put the next one down. We'll head back. Head back in to Hammerfest once we're finished. Let's hope we get a good amount of redfish. There's plenty of redfish here, so... I think redfish is a little bit bigger than the pollock too, so... Let's just hope we don't get any of the small ones, because the small ones aren't worth very much at all. Because so I think the pollock... Less than 5 kilos is still $8. Less than 5 kilos, less than 3.5. $14. There we go. Well, the prices have changed a little bit. So redfish probably does look like the better option. At the moment the prices might fluctuate more than I thought they would. Right, so that's all those guys down. They've got all these bloody boats in the area. All these buggers, what are they doing? That's a cruise ship, normal ships. That's like a, a speed boat, I think. Right here, guys. Well, um, what I'll do is I'll head back to town and um, see how we go. I might um, do a couple of runs like this off camera so you guys don't have to actually watch and then we'll come back uh, next episode and hopefully buy a new boat. So if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. If you want to see it continue, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.